exist in the world today cannot be solved by the level of thinking that created them. Education is what you're left with after you forget everything that you learned in school. So the, the, the populist thinking is that Africa has a population explosion problem, that this is a major problem for Africa. Europe is three times more densely populated than Africa. Africa has 60% of the uh, non-cultivated non arable land in the world. So is the issue population explosion or is the issue governance, leadership, health and education? Because if you get those things right, Africa doesn't have a population crisis. This is the I. You know, we're all working individually on our computers. But in a globalized world, if we take the Arab Spring and the G20 protests and the G8 protests, and they, the I went to we. I mean, people may not have protests together who were next to our neighbors, but the I became we, and that increased transparency. Become a stronger democratic voice, even if it's not everybody together in their village. Uh, so what is Futures Thinking? Uh, it's a multidisciplinary approach to examining transformations in all major areas of social life. It probes beneath the surface of received opinion, and this is what we have to keep coming back to. Not taking information and data for granted. It's not about predicting the future, it's about preparing for the future, and possible futures. But the steps that Neil has put here. First, brainstorm, then cluster, and then you validate. Some examples of futures wheel topics that shall be looked at. But because of better access to information, uh, we also have the issue of knowledge explosion. And um, knowledge explosion can also have a negative effect where we have the inappropriate access to inappropriate information. Under the infrastructure aspect, we also looked at the e-waste problem, which is really still a big problem, so it will of course increase as an issue. We have issues of plagiarism, use of, uh, and I think we, we are aware of that, which is negative. Then we go to improve communication as an impact. We have, uh, <clears throat> of course, collaboration and uh, better, you know, better sharing of information. The last one, cost reduction. We looked at it in two aspects, the teacher recruitment uh, aspect and the issue of print material books, they'll now be e-books and um, physical uh, classrooms may also uh, contribute to us cost reduction. Thank you very much. This is uh, group three, and uh, our presentation is on uh, majority of national innovation systems in Kenya are driven by PPP, that is public private partnerships. We more or less link towards the positives. And I think we are only one negative. So one of it is that there will be a better relationship between the public and the private sector, which will lead to reduced uh, duplication of efforts in innovations. And this thereafter leads to a lot of larger projects as we have seen in this country. We have the concert project. We have larger projects now of a bigger scale as opposed to smaller projects here and there. Then, uh, on the downside, there are conflicting mandates in that uh, the government would like to provide services to the citizens, whereas the private sector would want to make profits. So, we found that there would be a conflicting mandate of them, of the two, which again leads to poor service delivery and therefore low living standards among the population. Um, then, we will have a higher skilled database. That is, the number of people with skills in PPP will be more, and uh, therefore there will be efficient technology transfer. Uh, and let's look at the positives. Um, you notice access to services, in which case you find uh, we'd have we'd have. E-services that would be available, that would include uh, internet services that, 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 that would be available in the homes, in the rural areas, in urban areas, in which case you'd, you'd have improved service delivery. 
that that incidentally lead to uh, reduced reduced poverty. Okay, let's look at uh, at communication with. With the high speed broadband, there's improved communication. Cheaper uh, communication between individuals, between communities, and this has got a lot of positives. And uh, that one, again, is linked to uh, in, improved uh, performance at, at, at places of work because, because you find devices that we use to communicate today mobile, handheld, and related devices. Would, uh, would improve service performance, uh, places of work, and that would lead to improved service to your leader. That, that has got its advantages and disadvantages. Time. Time. And that, that is to be mentioned about changing culture. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.